Isaiah chapter 3. Chapter 3 would, would go with Leviticus. 66 books, 66 chapters. For behold the Lord, the Lord of hosts, hosts, angels, servants, all in all, does take away from Jerusalem and Judah, that's the main theme of Isaiah, Judah and Jerusalem, and we can have application to the church, spiritualized. The stay, which is support or rest. And the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole staff of water. There's a famine coming. Israel and Judah has is, is, gotten so much into their sins. God said, okay, I'm holding off the bread. I'm holding off the food. I'm going to cut the water. That will happen in America soon. We had a depression. My grandpa told me about the depression. Tell me story how there was no money, and yet there were soup kitchens. You could get a meal in the in the prohibition, but you just couldn't get money. The next prohibition, and many people of all frames of of. The realm of knowledge of economy and facts and brains, I'm allowed to, to borrow other men's brains. Many say, not even Bible believers, many say that the next depression will be food. You will have the money, but you can't eat money. So this is the condition that Jerusalem and Judah is now. God says, I'm going to break the bread. I'm going to break the water. The mighty man, husky, the man of war, army, the judge, the authority, the prophet, both God's prophet and the false prophets, and the prudent, the man that uses his wits. He doesn't fall for scams, and when he has something put before him, he studies it out. And the ancient. <laughs> We call him Eldery. Ancient. Somebody really old. The captain of 50. The honorable man. Everybody knows who he is. And the counselor. The man who, who he gives counsel. He would be in, in cahoots with the prudent man. The prudent man would seek the counselor. Hey. This proposal. What do you think? And he would go to counselors. And the cunning artificer, now that cunning today means, you know, you're crafty, but cunning in the Bible means he's skilled. We would say a craftsman. Here is somebody that is a craftsman of making things. And the elegant orator, and the only other place orator shows up is in Acts 24.1. That's somebody who can speak. His profession is to speak. And I, God, not me, God, I'm saying I, the I there is God, will give children to be their princes. Government, not the king, but the government. And babes shall rule over them. There is no adult rule. Now, the United States president age right now, the minimum, you have to be 35 years old. That's young. But that's still somebody who's got some life. The people shall be oppressed. Listen, you know, taxes and laws and you got to do this and you can't do this and you got to go to this line and you got to go to that line and you forgot this paperwork and you didn't dot your I and that's oppressed. That happens today. I mean, I, I come from Connecticut and the DMV in Connecticut is, man, you better have everything right and your eyes cross, your eyes dotted, don't cross your eyes, your T's crossed. You better make sure you have it in the exact order, stapled in the right position. And I don't know anybody, but never probably, I'm just saying, I have never done, never seen my family there. I've never seen where we've gone to the DMV, one visit, one line, and then we're done for the day. <laughs> 
Matter of fact, when the last time I was at the DMV in Norwich, Connecticut, you had to get in the information line just for to tell you where to go. <laughs> Things have changed. That's op that's oppressed. It's a burden of unreasonableness of burdens. You know, it's not so bad here in Daytona, but again, where I come from, Connecticut, you, you, you got to have your garbage garbage. You got to have your glass garbage. You got to have your can garbage. You got to have your paper garbage. You got to have your cardboard, <coughs> your cardboard garbage. And then they come around and they throw it into one big truck. Oh. Listen, that Antichrist is going to put oppression on you. You're going to receive the marker. You ain't doing no business selling or buying. You ain't getting no medical. I don't care. It, it, it's a one-year-old baby. Take that mark. I can't. Well, then don't get the help. Everyone buy another. And everyone buy his neighbor. I mean, everybody's going to be against everyone. Everybody's against everybody. Your neighbor is not going to have your best interest. I was in the hospital. My neighbor's coming over. I mean, how's your daddy? Is he doing well? Is he home yet? That's not going to happen. Because in verse 1 it says there's going to be no bread and no water. Your neighbor's going to be, if there's water, they're going to be the first ones to get to where the water and the bread trucks are. They're not going to tell you. They won't care about you. Not in a famine. And be dog eat dog, dog eat dog, and you know how that's even more so today because that's what they're teaching the public school system: evolution, the survival of the fittest. I remember that being taught. What's that? You, you're the lower person. You're done. It's all for me. That's one of the reasons why these kids are shooting everybody. You taught them. Hey, the, the highest monkey in the banana tree gets the banana, and anybody tries to climb up your tree, shoot them. Kill them. You're reaping. The child shall behave himself proudly against the agent. And that's, listen, I, I have been in places of employment where there's been somebody under me, age, and I get treated with no respect at all. Uh, you know, yeah, old man, you, you, you know, that's not respect. I watch a lot of reality TV programs. I don't watch the lying stuff. And even on the re reality TV program, the seated youngsters, they don't show. The Listen, the Bible says you're to honor your mother and father. And I see these children with their parents. And even Paul puts in the church age doctrine, man, if you don't honor your parents, you're not going to live long. You know the one of the things that's going to close out the Americans of America? with the children don't honor their parents and they're not going to have a longer life. And then we're, this country is legalizing abortion. And we're legalizing, you know, illegal drugs. America's going to get to the one day she's going to wake up and go, where's our population? It died in, a, in an operating room. It died because they didn't honor their parents. you got more population in the cemeteries than you have living and you got the legalization of, of sodomites. Two lesbians don't make a children and two gay people don't make children. Listen, you take an, you, you, you have an island in the Atlantic Ocean. And on that island in the Atlantic Ocean, you put two gay men. Put, put 20 gay men. And then you find an island on the Pacific Ocean and you put 20 lesbians. And you show up 50 years later, you're going to be less of a population because they don't produce. Against the agent. And the base, that's the common kind of person, against the honorable. It's disrespect. That's what it is. When a man shall take hold of his brother, of the house of his father. All right, here's brothers, same father. Saying, thou hast clothing. You got clothes. Be thou our ruler. <laughs> clothing? You know what they say today? Clothing makes a man. 
you know, you you ought to dress in, in a suit going to church. Listen, the best corrupted perverts, deceivers in the world, the one man that wears a three piece suit. You can go to the thrift store in Florida and buy a three piece suit for 15, 20 bucks. Clothes don't make a man. The character makes the man. Thou has clothing. Br 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 is that a great thing? Why should Why should we have you as a president of the United States or the or the king or queen of England? Because I got clothes. Is that what it's all going to come down to? You ain't got food. You ain't got what. You got clothes. It looks like there's going to be a bunch of people running around naked. Have you seen Daytona and Virginia Beach? They run around naked. Don't go to, to a, I mean, if you're a Christian, don't go to a chicken wing store in Daytona Beach. You're going to see a lot more on the waitresses than you're going to see on that bird. I know, I've been in the area. Let this ruin, no bread, no water, that's the state, ruin. We know what ruin means. You can do a Google search on, 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 on images, look up the word ruin, and you, you see disaster. Be under thy hand. You got clothes, you be the ruler, you be in charge of it all. In America, we're almost to that point. Just put a man in office and let him take care of it. You know, we'll hire a fire department to go put somebody's fire out. Do you realize, I don't know, 100 years maybe? I could be wrong. You know, there was a time that you were woken up at 2 o'clock in the morning because your neighbor's house was on fire and you got yourself in a long line with buckets. One line would bring buckets full of water, as one line would be bring empty buckets and fill them back up, and you put buckets all around. There was no fire department. Everybody got to get, but uh, let's have a fire department being controlled. There was a time that you were allowed to defend your own property with a gun. I'm not against guns, but now we got to hire a police force. And we're just as unsafe now with the police force than we are. You know, you come up, you don't belong on my property, bang. Why'd you shoot him? He wasn't welcome. Why'd you kill the guy? Why is he hanging half in my window and half out my window? Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was common sense. He, well, coming through your window. He, today, well, you know, the guy can sue you. He shot me while I was trying to come through his window. And when? And he's, what they're looking for, <coughs> God is saying, you got clothes, you be in charge of this mess. That's what they're saying. In that day. You know what that in that day is? That, that's, the, that's the second advent. That's the time, that, uh, the, here comes the trouble. Shall he, your brother, <laughs> Swear, make an oath, <laughs> saying, I will not be a healer. Put that verse on the Pentecostals. <laughs> For in my house is neither bread nor clothing. There's the bread. You think I got clothes. I ain't got no clothes. Make me not a ruler of all the people. I have nothing. I can't help. Don't put me in charge. For Jerusalem is ruined, Jeremiah. And Judah is fallen, Jeremiah. Because their tongue, their language, their mouth, James says that the tongue is set on fire of hell, and their doings are against the Lord. James says, be doers of the word. And not here is only deceiving yourself. It, uh, Judah and Jerusalem are doing evil. They're doing wicked. They're not doing what God told them to do. To provoke the eyes of his glory, that's outright rebellion. 
that's going on right now in America, England, and Germany, and China, and Japan. It's their words and their works. They show up their countenance. That's your facial expression. Does witness against them. They've got harsh, ugly, hard-looking, nasty faces. You know, to me, there's two disgusting faces to have to deal with. Somebody's been drinking for a long time. I mean, their face. And then you got to smell that alcohol. Or somebody smokes and all that. And it, it, uh, you got to smell that disgusting tobacco. Their face shows their depravity. I know somebody who was deep in sin. He's repenting. But I, I, I've seen pictures. and I see that He began to look like a devil. He was looking like a devil. I didn't see it to, to recently. I didn't see it then. Does witness against him. Your own face says, you know what? You're guilty. And, there does the, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. In America, it's legalizing sin. Legalizing pornography. Legalizing nudity on the screens and on the television, but then you know, in the magazines and calling it art. They are now legalizing, I forget it was Washington or Oregon, one of the Western states. Hard drugs are now being legalized. Never mind marijuana, that's something little. In California, I read, they are legal, you know, you don't have a driver's license, we're not going to bother. Your car not registered, we're not going to bother. We're not going to bother with misdemeanors. Friend, we are in the book of Isaiah in America. We are in the book of Jeremiah in America. You know what's going to happen next? The enemy is going to come in and destroy us. There ain't no going to be no revival. There ain't going to be no, you know, one nation under God. In God we trust. You don't trust in God. You trust in anything but God. I, I, I saw a friend today, one of my Christian friends, and at the tree lighting ceremony of uh, Donald Trump and his wife, somebody played that back. He said, you know what? That guy, and I don't know. I'm just, I never listen to it. I don't get involved in politics. But he said at that candle lighting or the tree lighting, whatever it was, that guy spoke more about COVID, the, the uh, vaccine, and not once about Jesus Christ. I believe that. And yet Christians out there are so quick trying to make him a Christian, trying to make him the fourth men member of the Trinity. Not me. I'm not looking for a Republican. I'm looking for Jesus Christ. I'm not looking for, for a Democrat. I'm looking for the blessed hope. I don't get involved in the politics. I preach the gospel. America and England are open in their sins. Don't believe me? Go sit down in a movie theater. Well, they got them rated. Yeah, okay, sure. Pig's eye. Then you, well, okay, they got them rated. Then you go in the store and buy them. Somebody, somebody will buy you the video so you can watch it. Right there in front of a computer? I know personally uh, that the, the, the kids can get a hold of pornography on the computer. I know personally. Woe unto their soul. They have rewarded evil unto themselves. They're going to get what they what they deserve. They're going to get their just. They're going to reap what they sow. It's a witness and a declaration of their own. America one day is going to wake up childless and no children. Legalize legalize uh, 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 sex. As in sodomy and, and, and lesbians, they don't make children. Legalize abortion, they kill children. Legalize Pharaoh and Herod taking care of your children. And then take away the bread and take away the water. You know, there are mothers, uh, there's a place in the Bible, so sh shall not a mother, some like, love her child. The family today unit is so cold, I mean, they don't even have fathers. 
And the father of that child could be anybody in that city. And if it came down to the nitty gritty, most mothers today, it's for me. That's why they go into the abortion clinics. That baby's going to be a destruction, an obstruction in my life. Just get rid of it. Say ye to the righteous. Okay, that's me. That it shall be well with him. Those Bible-believing, Christ-honoring, study your Bible, be doers of the word. I got to say that because you read the lie of the scene church age. Not many. I know a lot of prof professors that don't do nothing. Oh, we stand for the truth. No, you're a deceiver. Say to the righteous that ye shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. You're going to get what you deserve. You're going to reap what you sow. God will take care of you. You know, Paul lived most of his life in a prison. Paul had a broken body because of being stoned, being bit, bit being, uh, 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 being chastised, being hit with rods. But I forget which letter it says. You realize one of his letters said of Herod's household, something, no, something like that. A Roman descent, a Roman leader's household. I forget which letter he called. Salute thee. A man that was in prison, a man that said, I fast off and then I'm hungry at times. A man that was shipwrecked. He had perils of, of his Jews. He had perils of the church. Have I, be, have I come your enemy because I tell you the truth? I know what that means. That man wrote to one of the churches and said, Her Herod's household salutes you. That man was in royalty. God took care of him. That, that shipwreck in the book of Acts, they were going to kill all the prisoners because of, because of Paul. If you can swim, make it to the island. If you can't swim, find something floating and float your way there. Woe to the wicked. Okay, that's the opposite of righteous. It shall be ill with him. You know, you can be a Christian and be wicked. You don't confess your sins. You don't do right. Oh, I met many of them. For the reward of his hand shall be given. The righteous will get the fruit. See that? The wicked get the reward. You know, you know what it is to be righteous? You produce fruit. I don't tell anybody. I let my light shine. I don't do nothing. Are you out there actively trying to witness, telling people, oh, no. You're not going to get no fruit. As for my people, that's Israel. But let's spiritualize it. In America, children are their oppressors. You're going to be the children are going to put you under the problems. The children are going to lead you to destruction. The children who's causing these riots? Who's starting these fires? Who's killing each other at school grounds? I work for the newspaper. It's so funny. Many years ago. It was an important thing to have an eight-year-old write an opinion in the opinion page. What does an eight-year-old know? And then when an eight-year-old, nine-year-old, 12-year-old wrote, wrote in, and everybody just glorify and praise that child for not knowing nothing. And then when Stiley came along and wrote a rebuke to that child and what that, oh, Mean, nasty Bible believer. That Bible. And I never thought I was a Christian. They knew who I was. Ready for this one? Ready? And women shall rule over them. Nancy Pelosi. Uh, Hillary Clinton. 
The fact is that we have women in our government under Isaiah chapter 3 shows we're falling. Because they have women rule over them in chapter 3, it's not a good condemnation. It's terrible. And yet women's rights equal, okay. And every woman that you put into office, and maybe we'll get a woman president one day, that's according to Isaiah chapter 3, you're not living right. Next, we'll probably put kids in Congress. We'll probably put kids in the Senate. Now, if that happens, I'm not going to say if it does, but if it happens, you oh, we're even more stuff. You know, kids rule the schools, not the teachers. You know, kids are in charge of the public schools, not the teachers. Because, hey, Lord, I mean, you're, you're going to try to teach. You, you can't punish that kid. He'll take you to court. There was a time when I grew up that there was a child that actually took his mother and father to court and won. The next worst step, I really got women, and then you're, oh, look at that, the male chauvinist pig. Okay, whatever really you want to play. When you start putting youngsters in authority, I mean, you got youngsters today, they play a baseball game, and they all get a trophy. And they got football games now, they don't keep score. And everybody gets a little happy face at the end of the game. We're going down. I forget what they say with the the the, the song the, the the song that the band of the Titanic played near to God today. <laughs> That's going to be the song of America very soon in England. Oh, my people, that's Israel. But it can be the church and family and the nation. They which lead thee, ready? Lead thee. Go your, your government that leads you causes thee to err. The kings are, are in Judah right now as they're coming to the end. We get to Jeremiah, are just making it worse and worse. Matter of fact, the kings are going to take the prophet Jeremiah and throw him in prison. The king is going to take the word of God and cut it with a pen knife and throw it on the fire. The kings and the, and the ruling authorities of America, of the, uh, the Supreme <coughs> Court, <coughs> says you can't have a Bible in the school. Says you can't pray in school. Says you can't mention the name of God in Jesus Christ because you're going to offend somebody. You can't preach Jesus Christ on the sidewalk in any in any city because we'll threaten to, to put you in jail. Don't tell me not. I've had it happen three times in Daytona Beach, Florida. I can give you the cops' names. Don't tell me. The government's causing error. And what is the average Christian today putting their faith and trust in? The government. The Republican. There are Christians that, well, my faith is destroyed because our, our Republican didn't get in office. That prideful boasting is causing you to err. And destroy the way of thy paths. There you go. And you know what? God will give you what you want. You want a government? God will give you a government. You want a religion? God's going to, hey, pick a religion. Go ahead. But you won't like the end thereof. <laughs> 